the Aussies this summer. Witness tremendous defence here. And Canberra still moving this ball out wide to Belcher again. He's got Ferguson. To Meninga. Oh, he's over. Yes. We mentioned the power and the size of that man. Nearly 17 stones, this lad. A witness, full of stars, full of good runners. Canberra certainly entertaining. Meninga again, oh, beautiful ball to Wood. Oh, he's got inside him, it's a try. Chris O'Sullivan, and the man who made it again, Mal Meninga. Well, certainly the Canberra Raiders are showing this how fragile this witness defence is. It was that Meninga half break on the outside, a little push off, and a one handed pass. And after that, well, for players of this class, it was a formality. Chris O'Sullivan, the ex Oldham player, one of the few players to be left with the Canberra side, started out in 82 when they came into the Sydney League. Good support player, though, classic support play for a half back. Well, you've got to talk about class, and you're going to see some class here because this is really from the top draw. It's absolutely magnificent play. Just watch the big fella here. Absolutely lucky. He has two men off, slips it inside. Chris Wood. Now, have a look what happens here. Sullivan can't believe his luck. He's saying, Is there nobody chasing me? What's going on here? Are we playing a rugby match? Oh, good God. What a pass! Absolutely disaster. Oh, this is good play. Here's Daly. Inside to Clyde. But good cover. Good cover by Tony Myler. Everything's going wrong for Witness. They held the ball twice there. Back to the Raiders. Clyde. Daly. And Wood on the other wing. This is like basketball. to Ferguson, likes to come and weave about inside this lad, he spots a half gap, oh this is good running, good tackle by Tate, 35 years old is John Ferguson, yet he seems like Methuselah, he still keeps going, and there's no way Widnes can escape this pressure, Belcher again, to Clyde, oh magnificent pass but it's a forward, Canberra half, Ferguson again, beats one man, beats two men, beats three men, beats four men. This is more like the witness we know, Pike. I think they're, uh, they're going to uh, crack this Canberra defence, they've got to move the ball about, you cannot play these fellas down the middle, the tackle is Grimmer, so that's good. A good ball to Hume, he's going for the line and he's there, oh yes, good try. That's the true witness from Paul Hume. Witness let the ball go. Open it out to the ranks. And this hard-working lad played half-back, played hooker in the third test in 88 for Great Britain. Pulls Witness back in the game. 12 points to four now. Good support play. That's more like the witness we've been accustomed to see over the past 12 months. And maybe they've said, Ray, we've had enough of the belting, let's get back to playing with the way we can play. This is good driving football, good support play. The two Humes here, David and Paul Hume, a lovely little ball here, he can't believe his luck, and that's just what witness needed. This uh, green defence. David Hume to a fire, oh, he's away! Back to McKenzie. 15 yards from the Canberra line. And wasted a tackle, I'm afraid. Uh. Tony Myler. Witness forward, standing still at the moment, not running from depth. Pike, the short ball to McKenzie, he's got the line in front of him, and a fire's in! Brilliantly worked try, the short ball between Pike and McKenzie, 
Martin will fire on half a yard, and suddenly those Widnes supporters will flock here in their thousands, and Widnes are back in this game. 12 points to late now for Canberra. But I sensed that the pendulum swinging, and they'll fire 13th try of the season. 60 tries last season, 40 the season before. The master try scorer in the league. And what a way to reply to anybody who ever says these fellas are going on the floor and not lightly. Derek Pike, a lovely short ball. Phil McKenzie on it like a flash. And look at Martin Mafia. You don't give this fella these chances. Right back in the game. They've, they've got a better line and Canberra's not breaking through as much as he was do. Oh, that's well done by Tate. That's superb for the line. The space out wide if they can move the ball. Pike. Well, that's a beautiful pass to Alan Tate. Just couldn't get the ball away. And the sixth tackle. There's room out wide if Stonelson can get it there. Curry has got him on the outside. Oh, what a head tackle. But significantly, Davis has scored. I think we should note there that Davis has scored, regardless of the head tackle. But that was a bad one. And I would hope that Monsieur Desplat realises that Jonathan Davis did score despite the tackle. Laurie Daly, the big Australian centre, being sent to the sin bin for 10 minutes. And I'm sure it's a try. Yes, it is, he's given a try. And rightly so. Well, little Jonathan Davis, he was boasting to me the other week that he was 12 stone 8 pounds he's put 8 pounds on and despite that uh, nasty head high tackle davis managed to get in and that's put witness in the lead 14 points to 12 and davis to take the kick good referee there by monsieur de Plat. Well, this is a try, rightly deserved by witness, but just look at this tackle. Does this deserve 10 minutes in the Simbin? Have a look at this. Go, oh, I cannot believe it. How he scored a try from that, I'll never know. We've seen now whether Canberra's got any bottle. Joel Grimmer, and suddenly it's going right. Andy Currier, he's got Martin up fire on his outside. This man can go. It's a try. Nobody needs to bother. He's in there for his second try doesn't he love to score tries and suddenly Old Trafford is alive his 14th try of the season brilliant burst there by Andy Currier 18 points to 12 for witness and suddenly Canberra are on the rack Well, they say in rugby league there's no exception for Pierce, and this is what a good side does. This is Pierce, lovely wide ball from Witness. Again, the short ball, but just watch the support. Beautiful play by Courier. Now look at Martin Afire. There's nobody going to catch this fella. He can run. He's actually toying with the opponents, and that's just what Witness needed. Hume to Tate. He's got speed, he's got a fire with him. Can he get that gap? Oh, beautiful ball to Courier. Courier's going, he's got a two to one. Alan Tate, he passed inside when he had Jonathan Davis outside. Davis is going himself. Five yards from the Canberra line. And my aunt witness making this 13 man to 12 difference tell. David Hume. Oh, that's a bad pass. But he hasn't got the pace to go, I don't think. And it's beautifully picked up. Just look at that prop forward. Now then, four to one, to a fire. He's got the loose forward. Richard is. He's in. Yes. I don't think he knew he was going. Well, you talk about rugby out of the, of the top draw. Just look at this. It looked like a try for... For Canberra, but have a look what witness do. They do not believe that when the ball's on the floor, you cannot score. Derek Pike pop down. Have a look at Martin Afire here. He checks this ball off his bootlaces. Now look what goes on here. No problems. He cannot believe Richard Ers. 
I cannot score it, cannot score it. Yes, I can. I'll have another goal, and he does. Not missing the a quick tap. Witness breaking out. Barry Dowd, oh, this is good rugby. And this could be a try. He's got Darren Wright. He's going for the line. And that caught Canberra napping. They went the full length of the field. It's a quick tap. And it's a try for Darren Wright. 28 points to 12. And witness of the world champion surely after that. Well, can you believe this? Lottie Daly, you'll not forgive yourself for you. This has got to be a miss. You've got to count it as a miss. Over the line and drops the ball. Body looks. There's a lot of witness support play up with the play here. Now, just look at Barry Dowd. You do not sell dummies like that with little lads. One, two, and Australians are the super team. They don't take dummies. They took two there and watched Darren Wright. This is a chance. Look what he done to what, what Cameron did to him in the first half. How do you like that? Oh, he's an he's an entertaining wingman, this lad. He's still going. And he is a possibility. No. Well, yes, he's given it. Yes, he got his arm over. And a good round of applause from the spectators. Well, little Steve Walters, he's played out all the game, you know, he's battled away, he's been totally outgunned, he breaks through, he just showed his strength, no problem, strong lad here, Walters, pushes one off, pushes two off, and strength does the rest. And a very, very quick conversion there by Chris O'Sullivan, wasting no time for the extra two points, but I think 